I'm excited to announce a brand new tool inside of Helium 10. It's not just a new feature or new function or new filter. Those are all valuable in themselves. This is a completely brand new tool and you can find it in Blackbox and it's called Blackbox Brand Analytics. Uh, how do you find it? How is it gonna make you money? How can it help your business? Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Where you can find it here is in Blackbox and you know you probably have used the products and the keywords uh, tabs here in Blackbox. But now the third one is called ABA, which stands for Amazon Brand Analytics, top search terms. Now, first of all, what is brand analytics and who uh, can access it? Well, brand analytics is something that was released by Amazon a few years ago. And at the time, it was kind of unprecedented information. Amazon would tell you out of its top million or two million or more keywords for every single one of them, what were the top three products that were clicked after the search of that keyword? And then of those three top click products, what percentage of the clicks did each of them have? And then what percentage of the overall conversion or the sales generated by that keyword, how much did it have? And it's always been valuable information. So how you would use it, you would go to like any week or month and then maybe put in a keyword and see how many keywords were in the top 2 million or 3 million that had that individual keyword. You can put an ASIN in there and then it'll tell you, all right, well, how many keywords did it come out where this product was one of the top three clicked products for that week or that month? And, you know, it's a great way uh, to do historical keyword research. Like maybe you want to go back to a certain week and see which were the top three clicked. Um, obviously in Helium 10 Cerebro, now you can actually do that with a lot of broader range, but still this is information coming directly from Amazon. So now how does Helium 10's new tool play a role in this? Well, now you can take it to another level and this is gonna save you a lot of time, which maybe with maybe some of the tedious work that you were doing before. So with this here in Helium 10, you can enter in an ASIN or number of ASINs or a keyword. So this is actually something that I just did today and I discovered a product I didn't even know existed. I was just curious of the week of December 3rd to December 9th, I wanted to know what were some of the top 2 million keywords that had the word coffin in it. All right, so I just entered coffin and then I went ahead and press enter and I wanted to put a couple of filters here. So I said, hey, let me put in a minimum search volume of 300. This is something unique now to Helium 10. You know, I'm combining Helium 10 data with Amazon's brand analytics data. So I said, hey, I wanna see any keyword that has coffin in it. I wanted to exclude nails because there's a lot of like nail keywords that come up. I wanted to have at least 300 search volume. And then uh, I went even deeper. And this is what you can't do in Seller Central unless you just download everything and, and make it a you know, pivot tables and Excel file or something. But I said, hey, I wanna see any keyword that hits this criteria where a minimum of two of those products had greater than a total of 30% of the conversion. So why would I even look for that? Well, that, that, this is a way that, you know, a lot of people were looking for opportunity. They figured, hey, if the top products are just dominating the sales, well, and, and the, they're not getting it great, maybe there's room for me to get in and steal some of that sales. Somebody else might look at the same information in the opposite way. They might want to look at, hey, what are some of the keywords where, the top two or three clicked have less than a certain number of conversion share because now they think that it might be even more wide open. So there's no right or wrong way to look at this, but this is the kind of thing that people would do. They would have to enter some pivot tables or some formulas in Excel that on an Excel sheet that had a million, literally a million rows, and then go forth and do that. But now you can do it right here inside of Helium 10. And so I actually put all of that information in and take a look, the very first keyword that came up here, I was like, wow, I've never heard about this before, a coffin cat tree. And it had a 3,200 search volume. And so I'm like, wow, look at this. And then I was like, wow, look, look the, the, the top three ASINs total conversion share has 67%. So those top three ASINs are, are dominating. I could actually see here what are the top clicked once I could see the conversion share and the click share of each of these top products. And I actually went on Amazon to take a look at this keyword and I was kind of blown away uh, at what's going on here because this is a keyword I didn't even know existed. And there are some products here, like, like there's a $49 product here that sold 500 in the last month. There's a $134 product, a gigantic uh, coffin shaped 
like a cat tree that cats would play on that has bats on it and and spooky decor and spiders and stuff. Hundred and thirty four dollars, and Amazon says they've sold uh, eight hundred of these in the last month. So I just found a new product opportunity that potentially I could do, and it was from this brand analytics information. All right, and there's uh, some other keywords that came up here as well. Another way that I could do it is maybe I'm looking at all the coffin shelves uh, that are my competitors. And I just want to see, all right, where are some of my competitors? One of the top three clicks products for a certain keyword in any period of time. So I copied a whole bunch of ASINs here to the clipboard. And then I put it right here back in this brand analytics tool in black box. Now for any of these products, I see all of the keywords where any one of these is one of the top three clicks. I can make sure that I've got them all in my listings and I could see, all right, well, where are the competitors coming up? Maybe that I'm not. I could see here, what's the average click share? What's the average conversion share? There is just so much I can do because now I can combine Amazon data with Helium 10 data. What are some of the other things that I can filter out? I can exclude keywords. I could pick the top three ASIN total click share. I can pick the top three ASIN total conversion share, a minimum and a maximum. I could enter in the search frequency rank, that's from Amazon, and filter out in certain ranges. I can put in Helium 10 search volume, how many words that it has. A lot of this stuff you cannot do inside of Amazon right now. This is a cool one. I could do search frequency rank trend minimum and maximum percentage and search volume trend. You know, maybe I wanna see, hey, from this month to last month, what are the keywords that have at least this much search volume that increased 1000% in the last week or 500% in the last month? So I know all of a sudden, what are some of the trending keywords that people are uh, searching for a lot more than the previous time frame? all right? What are some other things I could put here the top three clicked ASIN monthly average age. That's insane. Or you can't do this in Seller Central. Take a look. I could, I could put here, hey, I want to see any keyword where it comes up where there is less than uh, maybe six months of age for the, the top three products or less than two months of age. So I could know that's a newer niche. I could put here the top three clicked ASINs total monthly sales. All right, hey, show me a keyword, for example, that has at least this much search volume where out of the top three clicked ASINs, if I add their sales, it adds up to at least 2,000 units a month or something. Or I could do the opposite. Maybe they're not doing that great. Maybe I, uh, I can actually pick here the top three clicked ASINs total review count. Like, can you see how that would help? It would be like, hey, show me a keyword that's trending, that has a lot of search volume, but the top three ASINs who are getting all the clicks they don't even have that many uh, reviews. Uh, maybe I wanna see something where maybe at, on average, they don't have a very high rating where I'm like, hey, out of the top three that are clicked, maybe they all have less, an average of less than four stars, all right? Or maybe I wanna see keywords that have a low suggested PPC bid. Uh, the filters here go on and on. There's just a lot of ability here to really dive into this data. So guys, start using this, play around with it. This is just version one. All right, the, the, the team really came through on this. And what we want to do is to understand how you guys want to see this information. Everybody has different ways. They use brand analytics and people are already, you know, combining brand analytics with Helium 10 data. So how do you want to filter through this information? I know one thing I would love is to be able to say, hey, show me where one of these products uh, was ranking or one of the top three clicked in like a whole date range instead of just this particular week or month. You guys like that one? You tell us what else do you want to see? This is just version one of this tool. And then based on what you guys uh, give us as feedback, we're definitely going to innovate here. But here we are innovating. It's the end of the year and we're still coming through with brand new tools. I hope you guys can get a lot of benefit from the new black box brand analytics tool.